Hey it's Bay and today I'm going to be reviewing the Rat Rig V Slider. This is a very high quality camera video slider for the price. It currently comes in lengths from 35 to 120 centimeters, and you can even upgrade it to become a motorized slider in the future if you wanted to. In addition to that, you can also purchase legs if you want the extra versatility. Ratrig also makes a V-Slider Mini that is much smaller and much more portable for your smaller cameras and phones. I'll put some links in the description to where you can purchase this slider if you're interested. Also, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see the V-Slider Mini review. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get a notification every time I upload. The one I have is the 45cm version which is about 17.7 inches long and I also received a leg kit along with it. I think that this is a great length. It's long enough to get the shots that you want but it's portable enough to fit inside a large backpack. When I first picked it up, I immediately noticed how premium it is. It has a good weight and feels really solid in the hands. They didn't cheap out when they put this slider together. It's handmade which I find really cool and they use only the best parts. This thing is made out of stainless steel and anodized aluminum. It's mostly black and there are two green accent pieces on the ends of the slider to give it some color. There is absolutely no plastic on this slider whatsoever. Well, that's what the website says. That's actually mostly true except the green pieces on the sides are plastic. Everything else is metal though which is great. The sliding action is really smooth. The slider uses 8 decently sized bearings, 2 on each wheel, to smoothly slide along the rail. The wheels are called Delrin wheels. I don't know much about them, but they're super smooth and very stable. There is absolutely no play or wiggle when the slider is in motion. The base where you put your camera on is solid and there is a good amount of surface area. It uses a standard tripod head screw, but you can get a screw adapter if you want to use something like a ball head or a video head. I'll put a link to the ball head adapter in the description as well. This is very useful because you can get much more flexibility with the head instead of being stuck in one position. On the side, there is a little knob that you can use to lock the slider base into place. It's very useful for when you're transporting it and don't want the base to slide around. The legs are a must have in my opinion if you want to get this slider. It gives you much more versatility because you can place it on a surface like the ground or a table. It takes a few minutes at first to assemble which is not bad and you even get the allen wrench to put them on. After that, you can manually attach and remove the legs without any tools which is great. The only thing that I don't like is the metal plates that are used to attach the legs slide and rattle in the slider which makes it a little bit more noisy. The legs also have stainless steel and anodized aluminum parts which makes them very solid. The height of the legs are adjustable and there are locks to lock them into place. I really like the adjustable leg heights because you can adjust them just in case you don't have a completely level surface. The feet are rubber to prevent slipping and the legs are wide enough to use with decently sized cameras. Speaking of decently sized cameras, I mainly use a Canon 70D with a Sigma 17-50 lens on this slider. It's about a 3 pound setup which is pretty heavy but this slider handles it like a champ. Since the tripod connection is in the middle of the slider, it can get off balance if you slide a heavier camera on one end when the slider is on a tripod. However, you can put a pretty big camera setup on the slider when it's on the ground and get some great results. The one thing I want to point out when you get this slider isn't necessarily a downside, but it's something that you'll have to get used to. Because of the price, this slider is fully manual which means that you will have to do all the sliding yourself. There is no sort of resistance to make the motion smooth. You're going to have to move the slider by yourself manually, which takes a little bit of time to learn. My technique isn't anywhere close to perfect, but as you can see, I can get pretty decent shots. My tip would be to use wider angle lenses, because lenses that are more zoomed in tend to show more blur. It's not too big of a deal, but you can always upgrade the slider to be motorized in the future. Overall, the Rat Rig V slider is a solid choice whether if it's going to be your first slider, or if you've owned many in the past. It's built with the highest quality materials which means it'll last for a very long time and it'll take abuse no problem. It's also very slim and portable. You can slide it in a large backpack without it taking too much space. Of course, if you want an even smaller, more portable slider, check out their V-Slider Mini. I'll put links to everything in the description as always. That was my review of the Rat Rig V-Slider. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get a notification every time I upload. Also, visit my social media links in the description and follow me there. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.